Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to go through more tips and tricks to do with Infinity and today I'm going to tackle the link team rules. Now I've read through them all again and I'm going to read through them all again with you now and we'll go through sort of tips and tricks to do with the link teams. Alright? Um, it's a bit wordy, a bit, a bit complicated. Huh. Oh god. Ah! Okay, so let's do reactive turn tips instead. Tip one, don't be visible in the reactive turn, okay? They're going to shoot you. They're going to shoot you a lot. This is infinity. It happens, okay? In the active turn, you roll as a dice. In the reactive turn, you roll one, maybe two, okay? So don't put things out visible that are going to get shot. Again, this is pretty basic stuff, but this is not a particularly advanced channel. <laughs> you may have guessed by now. Okay, so that's why people like flash pull spots and, and war cores and the like. Because if they die, it's like 3.7 points. I'll show you with a clip. Now, make the clip thing work. And here we go. Two wonderful things that can get shot and you don't care. We have here the Fugazi and we have here the war core. Okay, I've mentioned these before, and anyone who's played Infinity for more than a few sessions will know that what I'm talking about here. But if you want an expert opinion, probably you want the wrong channel for that. Um, the Fugazi is a um, <clears throat> remote. It's seven points. It's got a flash pulse. There are drones with this exact stat line and equipment, and points cost in practically every faction in Affinity, apart from Ariadna. And the war court is three points in the flash pulse as well. Okay, I don't give two hoots if these people things die. Uh, first of all, the war court doesn't even give you a regular order, so that's great. And the Fugazi does, but you know, it's going to die eventually. Both of them are great for AROs because you put them forward and if they get shot, they aren't important to your plans. Because if the Fugazi is important to your plans, you've probably gone horribly, horribly wrong. You can put them anywhere you want. I often put, for example, the war core maybe covering over, you know, covering a flank somewhere out of the way, maybe even covering my back end, so anyone who parachutes down will get flashed in the face. For Gazi or the equivalent sort of um, flash put bot, again on the sides, just to kind of uh, make sure they don't come around the back of me, and again to try and cover any sort of advance from the flank, so they don't try and hit me um, with impunity from there. Two, maybe you should go prone. I find this helpful with multi wound models especially, like heavy infantry and the like. Um, I'm quite a fan of Tankos, which, you know, two wound models from JSA, for example. If you um, take some some shots in the reactive turn and your AOO person, you know, maybe wins face to face roll or loses one and, and wins the armor roll, maybe they should go prone because they've shoot some orders up. With a multi wound model, like the Tanko I just mentioned to you, maybe they should take one wound and then fellow guts check and go down again because in that way you haven't lost the model and you've chewed up some of the orders and I guess the thing about the reactive turn is you might kill things which is great but if you chew up two or three orders and they still don't kill you because you've taken a wound and you've gone prone that could be really good so here's my example here of that here's my tanko in a link team of cheap disposable Kraisatsu a very sort of defensive link team because heaven forbid these guys aren't going to do anything in combat normally Here's Sync there with his plus three bonus from the Link team as well as plus one burst. And here I've got a um, veteran Kazakh Link with um, some Line Kazakh as well from Ariadna. And face to face roll, active turn from the Kazakh there. A flow of bullets will fly towards the Tanko. Now, you know, you're looking at a five dice against Tanko here. Um, Tanko's in good range band, it's got cover. The chances are he, he might lose two wounds, um, he'll definitely probably lose one. And as such, he's got the option of basically going prone or not. Now, of course, it depends upon the situation, but it might be that if he manages to survive the first flurry of blows and takes that one wound, you might decide to stay prone, sorry, to go prone, sorry, or stand up. That's up to you, of course, and again, it's so sort of dependent upon the situation. But if they spend more than one order to make you um, take some wounds, maybe it's worth lying down and um, stall in advance. Again, look at that order, Paul. Maybe they've only got a few orders left. It might be the first face-to-face -face roll, you even won. Or maybe the first face-to-face -face roll, you took and passed all your armor saves. And so therefore, they spent an order doing nothing. Again, it's situational. Uh, but it can be great because then your um, active turn piece is still around as well. And you haven't lost a model and then all the next turn. 
tip three, snipers shouldn't cover the whole board because it's a big tower, you want to go all sort of enemy at the gates and sit there and, and cover the whole board. Yeah, but then they can do, a, you know, the command token and get a coordinated order on you and have four people shoot you at once and they'll do it because it's their turn. It's not your turn, it's their turn. Okay. I know it, they say it's always your turn in FNT, but in, in the act of turn, it definitely is their turn. Okay, so cover maybe a flank, or I saw someone suggest cover your own deployment zone if you're scared of, say, uh, for days or um, troops and coming from your deployment zone, parachuting in. Covering your own your own zone and making sure it's secure, that could be enough to deter them. Um, if your sniper's right at the front, covering the whole board, they're going to die pretty fast. And here we are. Look at that sniper command the whole battlefield, including that glorious sign there for the Infinity Global League. Obvious plug. Now, they're going to die, probably. I mean, maybe fine with that, because it's quite cheap being a sort of a line sniper. But try and look from the other, side, other side of your opponent's boards. Over here, you know, there they are. Let's put the silhouette on, make it a bit clearer to you. There we go. Um, how many people can see them? Well, quite a few. You can see people from over here and over here. Um, you can see them fine and over here as well and you're probably going to get killed and that's again might be okay but it might be your sniper only takes one order off your opponent um, this of course depends upon what take you have whether you have mimetism whether you have um, a great link and so on but bear that in mind that if your sniper is visible for many different firing at once they might just cop it really fast so um, it might be easy to put them on the side somewhere with covering a smaller fire lane um, you know, where they can sort of cover a flank, like here you can command quite a fair bit, um, or even, as I said before, maybe being sort of here and prone and covering even your own your own back lines, um, so things can't drop down and do you. So try and look from your other um, players' um, side as well. It's obviously a lot easier on TTS, where you can sort of spin around. Um, but bear in mind, if you're at the top in the crow's nest, you're probably going to get shot in short order. Tip four, maybe if you shoot somebody else. Back to the link teams again, because I want to give them the beginning of the video. Um, remember that if you fire the link team and you can see more than one model, you don't have to shoot the person shooting at you. Okay? This is even better if you've got like a missile launcher or something with a blast template. Okay? You might go, well, I'm going to lose this face-to-face -face role. This, that link team is some broken, you know, pano link team with marksmanship and all that. I'm just a guy with a missile launcher. Well, maybe you can shoot the person behind them. It'll be a normal roll, so you'll get shot, but that, that opposed roll back could kill one of theirs. It could potentially hit more than one with a blast weapon. So it could be worth the trade. And I guess a lot of this game is, is trading um, model for model and order for order, and it might be worth it. I'll show you a clip now, but ultimately, like a lot of things in Affinity, there's so many examples where this applies in so many situations, I can't cover them all. I'll cover one and we'll call it a day, yeah? Here's an example where this JSA link team has moved forward to push a console with a hacker, and there's a sniper there watching them. The tanker was the link leader, and they fire missile at this sniper. Now, with all the bonuses, um, the tanker being active turn, and having bonuses and all that, the chances are the sniper is going to die. Now, what is the sniper going to do? You only get one shot in the reactive, and for this um, purpose, I have no linking bonuses for that person. Well, maybe instead, they should shoot this hacker instead, because this tanko is the link leader. If the sniper shoots this Kraisalzer hacker, it will be a normal role. In other words, unopposed against him, unopposed against her. She's probably going to die anyway, so why not kill one of theirs? And that, of course, in this case, will strip away that bonus um, they get from being a link and cause them some damage. It's better than nothing. Again, it depends on what you're firing against and when, and it might be that your opponent never makes more than one of their team visible at once, which is probably a good move. But again, it's something that's worth bearing in mind. And that is my four tips hopefully you enjoyed that hopefully you can't hear too much of my printer going off in the background there um any more tips put them in the comments down below not on my lap because that'd be weird but down there down the screen you see the comments page if you're also listening although the, the, st the stats suggest that <laughs> when it comes to the end everyone turns off um please you know smash that bell icon or just ring a bell nearby that does exactly the same thing 
and I'll see you later. So, bye.